From the football field to his family, our next guest is never shy from discussing his pro-life views. Super Bowl champion and father of eight, Matt Burke, opens up to us about what's shaped his pro-life views, ranging from his Catholic faith to his loving wife. In part two of our exclusive interview, Burke starts off with answering when he first identified as being pro-life. Well, I guess, I mean, I've always been pro-life, but and this might be just more first-person historical accounts, but when I was in grade school in the 80s, you know, we went down to the Capitol, we marched. Mm. Um, and in the 90s, I was in high school and college, it didn't seem like abortion was, was that, was, was, a, was a topic of national conversation. Like maybe it's sort of just mm -hmm. been flying under the radar. I could be wrong. I know there were a lot of people fighting the mm -hmm. battle then. So, um, but then uh, when I got, uh, when I got married and uh, the first thing is I, the birth of my first daughter. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that was the first, maybe the, fir the first time that I had realized that I'd witnessed a miracle when wow. the child, my child was born. Uh, even though something happens millions of times a day, doesn't mean it's not a miracle. Um, and then my wife began to volunteer at Life Centers. And um, so I was just, you know, kind of the supportive husband, wow. you know, being busy playing football. But where I really, I think, stepped out and where, where the flame was lit inside of me for the pro-life movement was when I was playing for the Ravens. Uh, one day my phone rang. It was the Archbishop of Baltimore. And he asked me to come speak at the, at the Maryland March for Life. Okay. And I never stepped out publicly, not that I was avoiding it, but I just never, I'd never been that involved. And when I went there, and what really, what really I think changed it for me was uh, I was talking to a woman as we were marching, and I asked her why, why she was there. And she had told me that she was an abortion survivor. And at the time, I, I didn't know what I had said. I said, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what that means. Right. And she said, well, when I was 18 years old, I had an abortion. And uh, I regret it. It still hurts. And I just don't want anybody else to make the same mistake. And I just thought, you know, that witness right there, like who cares what a football player has to say, but that witness right there of a woman who's, who's had an abortion. And I could see that the pain was, it was many years ago, the pain was still very real. It's like it was still fresh. Hmm. And that night I met hundreds of women who were abortion survivors. Wow. And I thought, okay, well, you talk about from a, from an intellectual standpoint, right? I mean, there's hundreds of women there and millions of women in our, our country mm -hmm. that regret having an abortion. Mm -hmm. If you go to the March for Life in Washington, you, there's thousands and thousands. I've never met a woman that gave birth to a child and said, well, I wish I'd have had an abortion, right? So logically, it just, it just doesn't make any sense. And how does your Catholic faith support your pro-life views? Well, the Catholic faith, I mean, we're, you know, the Catholics have been the ones, we've been front and center on this issue since, since the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I say I was, you know, it was an issue and then it wasn't. The Catholic Church has been, has been fighting this fight, been on the front mm -hmm. lines the entire time. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, proud, I'm proud of my faith. I'm proud of my church for, for doing that. And, uh, you know, as we know, those of us that are involved, there's, there's like anything, there's good times, there's bad times. It's a hard, long fight. You go to, you go to life centers and you, you, you talk to the workers there, you go to a go out in front of a Planned Parenthood and you talk to those sidewalk counselors. I mean, every time that a woman chooses to have an abortion, you know, when you're working with a and she chooses mm. death for her child. I mean, that's, that's like, that's like a body blow every time, right? There's lots of tough days, but so, so I'm, I'm, I'm proud of, I'm proud of my church and, and my faith for, for leading the way. I'm a Knight of Columbus, which mm. is a, which I don't know how many ultrasound machines and how many lives have, have been saved because of, because of the Knights, but this is like this is this is our issue as a as a church. You have eight children, and you mentioned you're an adoptive father as well. And you were speaking about your adoption journey. How did that change even your view on life and being pro-life, having this adopted son? Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> so we, we we have two adopted sons that are wow. they're only six months apart. We were actually sort of chosen at kind of about the same time by two, two birth mothers. Uh, it's incredible. So it was, we, we didn't know, you know, you, anybody who's opened themselves up for adoption, you never know. And then it's like, ah, you're going to have two. It's like, oh, okay, great. Um, <laughs> daily double, you know, God's, <laughs> God's plan. Uh, you know, yeah, going through it with the, uh, with the birth mothers, going mm -hmm. on the journey sort of mm -hmm. with them by their side, two very different experiences, but mm. seeing how, um, how, how for, for women, you know, this is not a, it's not an easy decision. You say, oh yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, it's hard because this is, this is your baby. Um, but witnessing that, that love. I mean, you know, when we talk about love and I think it's mm -hmm. in our, 
right? Love is sometimes we make it like duckies and bunnies and rainbows, right. but love, love hurts. Love's painful. You know, love is about sacrifice. Mm. And probably daily, when I look at both my sons, I think of I think of their birth mothers, and I'm just in awe. Um, and everybody knows, you know, adoption is a is, is certainly a, it's it's an option that doesn't get mentioned enough. But I look at uh, how that's just changed and and it, you know made our family even even more whole. And I know that there's millions and millions and millions of couples out there who want to adopt. I mean, why not? It's such a it's such a better better choice than abortion. It's beautiful. Tell us about your wife, Adriana. I understand she volunteers at pro-life pregnancy centers. Is that right? Well, she was the one. Yeah, she started volunteering at, at pregnancy centers and and uh, you know kind of got the our family on the on the pro-life pro-life track. Mm. No, but she's. Um, you know, yeah, I'm, all, all my kids like mom better than dad. You know, she's just, she's just very, um, she's, she's, she's very warm. You know, it's like she was, God put her on earth to be a, to be a wife and a, and a mother. And she's, mm. she's fantastic. And she was actually the one too that, um, we talked about adopting for a long time. And, uh, you know, sort of, I was, I don't, I don't know if I was ever going to bring it up, but she brought it up again. She said, you know, I, I'm feeling called that we need to, we need to make ourselves officially open um, for, for adoption. And, uh, you know, I, you know, obviously I pray about it. I can't say like that was 100% my will at the time. Um, I, mean, I had some reservations and well, I don't know, if, are we supposed to? And then, uh, you know, to be blessed with two adoptive sons, it's like, you know, yeah, she, my wife knows what she's doing and, you know, thank God I didn't, thank God I, I didn't get in the way. I mentioned you have a large family, eight children. What kind of reaction do you get from people who might not be used to seeing yeah. that many kids? And how do you respond to questions like, "Are you guys done? Are you guys do yeah, you guys have enough?" Yeah, how, how, how do you deal with that? Uh, normally, I deal with, try to deal with, with humor because it's because it's funny to me. I don't mm -hmm. really take offense to it. You know, I, I get it. Back in the day, right? It was just kind of the default. Everybody had eight, 10, 12 kids, and whatever. Now it's it's more rare. Um, I say not everybody's had the same experiences I've had, or not everybody's been exposed to the same things I have. So, um, yeah, I try to um, I, I, I try to respond with humor most of the time. Uh, you know, people say, "Oh my gosh, what's wrong with you?" I'm like, "Yeah, I don't know. I just like making love to my wife or something." You know, uh, right. I try to kind of put it back on them and, right. and uh, gently point out that they the might truth. not the, the truth and that they um, they might want to think about what they're saying. But I'll tell you yeah. what, it's on the flip side too. Is so many people come up and. Um, they'll say, oh, I was one of 10, big families are the best, or, you know, I had, I had eight kids, I wish I'd had eight more. Yeah, so, you know, the big family, there is kind of like a, a connection out there with us big family people, you know, like we're, we're in the club and <laughs> it's a little bit competitive, you know, so I'm like, well, we have nine or 10. I was like, okay, you well. Have your own sports team. Yeah, so. you know, I said, well, it's not, a, or people like, I only had five. I said, well, it's not a contest. You know, right. I mean, hey, you just, you just have fun with it. But I mean, gosh, you know, I, I, I asked, Tell anybody, you know, look at look at your kids, look at your family. Could, you mm -hmm. know, could you imagine your life without any one of them, right? Mm. Like if you had six kids, you know, could, could you imagine your life without number six? No, you, you, you couldn't, right. right? It's like every every family is every family is perfect. Matt Burke, thank you so much for your witness and for taking time to be with us. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you again to Super Bowl champion Matt Burke for taking the time to sit down with us and share his pro life witness.